loves and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to install g-shade plus i will be showing you guys my settings so if you guys want your game to go from looking like this to this then i recommend you guys continue watching these days i don't really care for all that empty conversation no no these days i don't care for competition you don't want this racing no Welcome back to my channel. As requested, today I will be showing you guys how to install G-Shade, uninstall G-Shade. Plus, I will be showing you guys the preset that I use along with its settings. If you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. My name is Bree, and if you're interested in any cast builds, builds, or any other Sims for content, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to go follow me on all of my social medias. They will all be linked in the description below. Before I get back into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 1k subscribers. We reached our goal and honestly, I appreciate and love y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the actual video, I recommend you guys open up File Explorer and somewhere on your computer like say for instance documents create a folder for where you want your presets to go so that when you go to install g shade you have access to this folder and when it's time to convert your presets will go in here but they will also create a backup folder for the ones that's not converted for those of you that do not know what g shade is g shade is a program that allows you to change the graphics of the game so for instance the coloring the vibrance all that stuff and honestly i could say that g-shade makes your game look 10 times better i will link this website in the description so make sure you guys look out for that but once you're on the website you want to click on windows and it will install right away and once it's done what you want to do is click open file and you guys may not or may see this part but it's asking you if you want to allow changes to your device i'm going to hit yes and now, as you can see, it's going to ask you to select your language. I speak English, of course, so I'm going to hit OK. And now you will have to agree with the terms and conditions. OK, and now, as you can see, it's asking you to set up G-Shade with the following game. So what you want to do is click Browse. And to find The Sims 4, you want to go to Program Files, Times 86, Origin Games, The Sims 4, and Game, click Bin, and then The Sims 4 times 64, and hit Open. Now after that, you want to hit Next. I run under 64-bit. You want to click Direct X9, and um, for this one, Normal Mode, and I leave the rest the same. And then I hit Install. And now you want to hit next. Now that the installation is complete, it is now asking you to select where you want your pictures to go when you take screenshots in The Sims 4. I'm going to hit finish. I hit no. Okay, love, so now that you have G-Shade installed, you will now go to your desktop. And as you can see, G-Shade is over here. I'm going to drag it over here because I like to keep my desktop organized. But double click on G-Shade's control panel. You will not see this part as always, but it's going to ask you if you want to make changes to your device. Hit yes. Okay, so now that you've opened up GCH program, you have the home button, you have installations. This is where you can add GCH to other games. Um, you have tools, and right here is where you want to convert your presets. So this is the reshape preset that I use. I use a version shine. If you guys want the same, Click the link in my description. If you guys have any other presets that you want to download, go ahead and download it and make sure you guys place it into your presets folder. So now what you want to do is go ahead and open up the G-Shade control panel, click a launch converter, click this and click on the presets folder and then hit okay. And all your preset converters is complete, hit okay. Now what you wanna do is right click on the Sims 4, click open file location, and now you can see that this is where we place G-Shade into. You want to enter the G-Shade presets folder, click on custom, and this is where you'll be placing all of your converted presets into. Because I have already installed G-Shade before, my preset has saved into this 
folder so i do not have to worry about it now to place any other presets that you have converted go to the presets folder that you had converted the presets into hover over it and just place it right into this folder here once you have finished that you can now enter your game okay so now we're in game and as y'all can see g shade has successfully installed right if you guys do not see this up here that means you guys did something wrong and you will have to go back and restart the whole process over again now we're going to open up our g shade settings and to do that you want to click shift f2 now you have entered the tutorial i'm going to skip this tutorial because i already know what i'm doing but if you guys want to you know go with the tutorial hit continue if you guys want to change your toggle keys for instance the overlay key will be to turn your reshade on and off i want to change this i don't want to use shift f2 so what i'm going to do is on my keyboard hit home and then hit enter and as you can see once i hit home it turns G shade settings on and off and when i go to the shader toggle key instead of shift plus f3 i want to use this key right here so what i'm going to do is hit enter for the screenshots part i don't want to use shift plus numpad plus i want to use part print screen and i'm going to hit enter for this this is the key that you use to take screenshots and that's all the hot keys the other stuff that you see i don't really touch but as you can see right here where it says theme if you guys want to use a, the reshade theme then click on that but i like to keep it as g shade you also have the dark theme the light theme it's different things but i like to use g shade uh, for the editor theme i don't really know what this is so i'm going to was it light yeah i'm going to keep it there for the other stuff i don't play around with okay so moving back up to the shader toggle key this key is used for you to turn reshade on and off okay so now we want to click on home and now we want to turn our reshade presets on click customs and as you can see you have all your reshade presets i'm going to click a versus shine because it's what i use wait patiently and as you can see my reshade is turned on okay so now i have entered the game and as you can see i turned the reshade off because i wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the reshade off ugly <laughs> so to turn it back on i'm going to hit the home key and i'm going to click on the reshade preset that i use and as you can see it's turned on so if you want to use your toggle key click on it and as you can see it's off on off Oh, if you're not editing your presets, then turn on performance mode. In order to see the MXAO and the DAW for real, without having sharp, you know, edges of everything, you want to make sure that you have edge smoothing turned off. Go to game options. And right here, you want to make sure it's off because if it's on, this is honestly how it's going to look. It's, it's like everything is sharp, as you can see. Like, you see all of these pixelated, not pixelated, but like, you see the lines in the sand and yeah if you guys don't want it to look like that then make sure you have edge smoothing turned off so now i'm going to show you guys my settings so now to change your settings of every effect you want to just click on it and as you can see all of this pop up i'm going to go out of performance mode um this is my mxao settings pause the video have tint on have technicolor on have ambient light on have colorfulness on have filmic pass Half of the stuff I kept the same. If you guys want to use levels, this is the levels. And clarity. And then adult. Okay, love. So that is it for this video. You have successfully installed G-Shade. 
<laughs> and <laughs> if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button also click the bell to be notified whenever i upload another video follow me on all of my social medias the links are in the description and yeah y'all um i really hope this helps you guys out if it did let me know in the comments below too um and yeah bye but it's time that I'm wasting yeah. Spent on the surface yeah. I don't wanna fake it yeah. Cause I realize that